Hello students, so in our previous class we learned how we can easily create a surface to the point files CSV format and how we can uh, manage the, the smoothing or the contour and darkness. But by default in our previous video you can see I just picked a uh, contour and turban and provide the value over there which is not a secure way so we just have to know about the settings how we can uh, do the surface style settings so here in this settings this down here we have an option surface so just click on this and here we have a surface styles here you can see 1 meter to 5 meter by default we have some values for this if you want to create your new ones you just recreate and right click on the okay now you can give it any information like kind of click on to where you want to define so just rename it contours at 1 meter and 5 meter okay and uh, after this the kind of borders you required with this okay then the contour similarly what we did previously here you can see by default you can change it this value 1 meter to 5 meter okay then create endpoints these all things you can change in a display you can see by default we have a border only one thing is visible like borders like if i'm going to apply this one into a properties bar then what happens just see okay so now again in prospector just click this one right click and properties in our information i'm going to pick the one which one i defined so this one i defined in a surface styles just like this apply and all. now you can see it's only showing us a border because we are only make a layer visible it's only border so we just need to switch on all other like major or minor contours layers over here to see the major or minor contour so we select this right click in surface properties in edit surface style in a display we switch on the major or minor contour like and okay now you can see the major or minor contours also so in this way you can create your own style okay and uh, with the help of display option you can manage the display things now next thing we are going to learn about the surfaces so just select this and we are going to see how we can add labels on this so first of all we have option okay here we have a single contour so like single contour i'm going to show you like just click anywhere where you can see the elevation of contour is going to show you at each point where you want to see okay so where you want to see just click on that layer it goes to show you the contour over here so this is the single click method another way we have a multiple contour method so just click on this and from one place to another from where to where you want to see the contour is going to put it like this another method is again you can see while clicking on this add levels we have a contour multiple at interval with the help of this we are just going to define the from first point to last point at a layer and then we are going to define the interval along the contour at 100 meter i'm going to take a 50 meter so it's from right hand uh, right hand side it's 50 meter and left hand side is 50 meter it's going to provide the contour directions like this this whole layer is about uh, 120 meters so in both layers is going to define about the Contours at both ends. So in this way, we can define the contour elevations with the help of single click or with the help of uh, linear and multiple. Okay. Next thing you can do is just click on this in the add levels. We have a spot elevation on a grid. So elevation wherever you want to see the elevation, just click on that. This is going to show you the. spot elevation so just wherever you want to see the elevation so just click on that place you can see the elevation key easily okay so these elevations are very like dynamic layer so if 
not going to select them and uh, want to move it from one place to another you can see its value getting changed ok so means if you are going to place it somewhere else this value is getting changed if you are going to create a copy of this one so again this is going to happen like its value is getting changed if you want to place it somewhere else so you can place it wherever you want to place it its value is automatically get changed if you want to lead it over there so just click on this again and with the help of this you can show the leader so these are all of the different methods we have to show that and uh, again just click on this in add we have slopes okay so in a slopes we have two methods first of all one point method or two point method in a one point we are just going to click somewhere it's going to show us a slope over there so we will just click it's going to show you the slope okay and another method we have two point method so just click on this slope and two point method we are going to click two point and the first point and the second point it's going to show you the slope at this level okay so by default you can see here we have a value for decimal so if you want to see the value in a percentage so just select this one and here we have a property option so just click on this and uh, with the help of this way you can see run on riser or edge if you want to see a percentage so just click on this and you can see 3.3% rise okay so in this way you can manage these all things so next thing if you want to select the similar so just click on this and with the help of right click select similar and delete them all the time you want to delete the help of this again just click on this click on this right click select similar and delete them all so in this way you can do these all things with this so today that's all for the class